Hi guys, and welcome to the final episode of Pirate Problems, Phase 1. As you can see, it's live. <laughs> By the time I'm recording, it's friends only. By the time you guys see this, I'll let you have it. Enjoy. I think we got there. <laughs> it, it works single player, it works with short person in there. So, fingers crossed, I've got it. <laughs> So I'll release it to you guys to so get some feedback because everyone else is at work i really want to push on with this <laughs> any problems let me know let's get into it and i'll tell you how the hell we got here right then i have a list I don't think it's even finished. <laughs> These are just notes I meant to sort of put forward on this video from where we were when it ended at the end of the last one. I haven't rendered it up yet and it's been a few hours so I can't actually remember where I got to. But pretty sure it wasn't working. The script itself bugged out and there were no spawns. Right, now I'll look at the list. <laughs> now the drones weren't spawning because the ten pirate antenna spawners themselves are actually a mod. Uh, can I bring that back up? Apparently not. That is not a web page. Why is that down as a web page? Oh, great. Apparently it thinks visual description is a web page. Interesting. It's not. Get out of there. <laughs> what are you doing, man? No, it believes that's a web page. Okay. Well, that kind of stuffs that up then, doesn't it? Yeah. We'll go this way. <laughs> right. Yes. We have a problem with antennas. There we are. It's down as a required item and is a separate upload itself. Aha. But all that's in there is just the prefabs. Uh, Shh. Should be able to, I love this new tab business. Oh yeah, awesome. That's shared network. There we go. Mods. Problems with tens of cells. You get this thing when you upload it. That's where it comes from. I'm not sure if it did that as well. I can't remember now. But all that's in here is literally the spawn groups, the antenna spawners, and the prefabs. All oh, those lovely prefabs. Oh yeah. So that's cool. But it does need that, otherwise none of them work which is where we were. So as soon as I put that in, awesome. But because I hadn't uploaded it, I connected it as a local mod, which caused a problem itself. I then had to figure out how to change it into a Steam mod. In here? Yeah, there we go. Because it shows up a bit different when it's a local one. That was fun. Not. <laughs> but that was when we got around to the MP testing. A while getting there but basically you had to start the game any map after i'd uploaded this add this to it somebody actually said upload this early it was in one of the comments somewhere on discord just so it's there and it's working from an uploaded position yeah that would have made life a bit easier but all you do is upload it start the game as it was exit the game change the local mod out for the uploaded steam version of the mod save it and nick this section here done got them in the end right drones not spawning oh yeah that was a problem as well previously i'd only edited the drone limit turns out putting the pirate pc you were zero it doesn't mean unlimited it doesn't have the same effect so i put it at 20 million i don't know how low i could have gone probably a lot lower than 20 million i'm not sure if there's actually a cap anyway I uh, read 500,000, but the drones are spawning now, even with everything else that's going on in the map, or the world, rather it's not a map, it's a world. So, happy days, that is working, and that information is in the config again. If you change the config, it changes this. This is like the SB85, yeah, the SBS, or B5 of the sandbox. The game creates this, if you try and load it, it's all... Yeah, 
but if you have a world without that in it when you start learning it'll say it's an unsupported version and it puts it in afterwards but yeah do it in the config uh somewhere around here isn't it yeah max drones keep going pirate pcu there as soon as i did that and got the right mod in there it worked the drone started spawning get in ah happy days i was still also the owner of 83 blocks how I did full on replace this. <laughs> I must have got confused with the file somewhere. But there was one of those little golem, goblin, gorgon creations I've done for spawning. One of them was still mine. It was the octa? The octa base, I think, was still mine. Octa station. And the mining outpost was still under my name as well for some weird reason. Don't know why that was fun trying to figure out <laughs> give it to the pirates it, you're turning off that checkbox when you're setting the game up for uh, enable weapons it doesn't work if the weapons were already in game yeah yeah that hurt my face got melted a couple of times but you can do untargetable and invulnerable in the alt f10 menu and that lets you sneak around it would be nice if you had in the entity list an option to set the owner that would have made life a bit easier. I had to do a few repairs as well. From earlier efforts of trying to change ownership. I think I've got it all. I think. I'll find out when we get in there. There's going to be enough going on either way. Uh, this, I have no idea what happened. And I don't know why it keeps minimising when you jump to... What the hell? What's all this? Split screen business? Ooh, fancy. Uh, in part, for some reason, this was broken. I don't know if it's on the previous video. I'll have to have a look. But those three were gone. And a few of these random lines were missing. Don't know what that was about. Not a clue. Pain in the ass. Real pain in the ass. <laughs> but restarted this, and it's sort of... I don't know if things were there but not connected i just it was just been weird i think it bugged out but a quick restart those three had gone patched all them back up and it's working again so no idea did i change anything else i don't think i changed anything in here i don't believe what did i I think I changed it so it leaves all the main quest details up in the corner now rather than just having the bullet points. I'll see how I get on with that one. I may put a time delay on it. So for every half hour it pops up for a minute. If it triggers it'll pop up. If you achieve something it will work. But just it's, it's quite a large block in the top left isn't it? I suppose you can always use tab though to hide it all but you hide everything. Hmm. I think we could actually set it to a button. That might be worth trying. It's not in here. It's one of the example scenarios it uses buttons to do things. And if you press that key, it'd hide it. If there's a random key that's not used, I presume there is, because these picks them out. So I could use that to make it so it's on a button. Yeah, you know, toggle it. That'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Hide it. <laughs> like hood hide of a farm sim. <laughs> hmm. But yeah, he's good. Uh I've experimented with doing this and this just does not seem happy. At all. Don't know what that's about. But it does seem when you first you build the world and then you first pull it into here, wherever that position was that you left the character. I don't know if this is true or not. But it does seem to be that that becomes the general spawn for any host. As in the person hosting the game. I don't know if it's going to work on the dedicated server. Or if it even will. But like when I hosted the game. Um, Shorty joined. I spawned where I'd left the character. She got the option to spawn wherever. And when she did it. She spawned where I'd left the character. And I got the option to spawn in wherever. 
I have left auto respawn on. And, yeah, I don't know how I feel about that yet. We'll see. You can always turn it off though. Once you start the game, save it, come back out. We can add as many mods as you want. Change as many settings as you want. Because I'm going to change settings myself. Because yeah, but I thought I'd leave it kind of default-ish. But progression had to go. That's just irritating, and it doesn't fit with what I'm doing here. We're coming here as a special forces unit to keep the pirates out. Not as newbies. But yeah, this, getting the XYZ, I, I put down a GPS, put all the details in here, and it was weird. When it did work, it spawned you somewhere else. I'm not... I don't understand how this works. It should work. I've copied it off uh, another early example scenario and that worked put it on the in it which is initiate i believe when it first starts up so in theory it should just grab the host but it didn't i didn't want to broke it but then again i broke it so <laughs> uh, been fun by the way it's working yeah fix the guns at the earth bunker uh one of the little ball turrets was shot the hinge and the rotor was dead, so I had to repair those while the rail guns are eyeing me up. And one of the rail guns had bugged out. I think I just set it up wrong. But they're working now. <laughs> Remember to turn off creative features, you idiot. <laughs> I don't know if I brought that again, actually. <laughs> well, I'd left to uh, use any terminal on. And I can't figure out how to turn that off in here. Which was strange. Is it this one? No, it is sandbox. Where am I? Oh, I think I'm coming up actually. Maybe? Yeah, here we go. Somewhere in here. There is the creative tools enabled. But it's the only one. There, uh, no, that's, that's the top one. Ah! Remote admin settings, that read 4. I'm not sure if enable all terminals is number 4. It doesn't really connect. It doesn't make sense. Remote admin settings, that would be like talking to a server from your phone, maybe? I don't know, it doesn't add up. Anyway, I've turned it off and resaved it all. Hey. Uh, just the prefab spawn distance. Yeah, when I got them working, they were kind of spawning over each other. I mean, the initial, I think you've, to do it properly, you're obviously flying up to it. So you'd engage one group, then the next group. But they were over, to just sort of spectate in there and jump the character. They were all spawning on top of each other. Instant fireworks. It was awesome. But the pirates are nuts, so it kind of worked. But I have changed the pirate antennas, so they all spawn at different ranges from the antenna now. Hopefully, that's going to mitigate the explosions. But we'll see, because now the inner group is going to spawn and they're going to start moving. It's the outer group spawn, so it can still be mental. Uh, yeah, there we go. Test playthrough, then release. So it's currently in that testing phase. I think I will release it just so I can get some feedback. And if anybody does find problems with it, can maybe try and fix them. I don't know how the hell I'd do that, but I can have a go. Why? Get off. Put that back. <laughs> right, trying to get the spawn point for MP. This is how I broke it. I think there's five chains <laughs> on it already. It, just, it didn't make sense. I, wanted, I didn't quite understand it. That's why I'm thinking whatever you save that character now, VST makes that the default spawn for the host. So I was trying to delete me from here. And it's complicated. Because you're all over the place. <laughs> uh, what's identity ID? I'm 898 this time, but I'm up here. I'm down here. I'm here. There's references to me all over the place. And to remove the character is a real pain in the backside. But I thought I got it. I said, but then it just went weird. And that's when the spawns were struggling. So I'm thinking... Don't do that. <laughs> That's bad. But at least I've got the proper initial toolbar sorted out now. <laughs> Why screwing it up? 
Ay, ay, ay. Disarm the spawn ship and the green base. Yeah, because they were down to me. I don't know how that would behave. So I think if I've got it right now, they're actually set to the faction I've created. Which... Where are they? Up here, factions, I believe? Nope. Lower. Zoom, zoom. Underneath all the options that are in the config. And here we go. We have the Space Pirates. And then we have the GSF. The Galactic Special Forces. Defending the galaxy from all enemies. I thought that would make it easy. Because when you got other people joining in, they can't join with you if there's no faction. Uh, yeah, more problems. I thought I'll just set up a faction. So the host joins in theory is already part of the faction. So far testing has agreed with that. And then anybody else who spawns in could join the faction and spawn at the survival kit because I have altered the spawn ship because I didn't have one on. Which is great when you're trying to set up an MP game and you can't all get together. Yeah. Genius. <laughs> we got there. We're done. So it just it was behaving. I tried to put in. Who the hell are you? I think it's still got. Yeah, I tried to put an AI in. I think it has actually kept the AI as well. Yeah, it has kept the AI. So instead of having a, a person founded it, the AI founded it, and then you could join. And it was just. It didn't need to be. So I just left it as that. I wonder if that's what that random character there is. Hmm. That makes it a universal spawn point? I'm not sure. And uh, trying to set the faction the game says no, yeah. Back into VST. You have the options of setting factions and it's just it's not behaving how I'd expect it to behave. I'm not just put faction. Yeah. Set player's faction. Grab the player, set the faction. Just wasn't having it. I'd need to see an example of that. And I don't know how to find one. So, walk away from that. Leave it alone. <laughs> it's easy enough when somebody else joins in, you get the spawn menu, don't you? You pick the faction, pick the survival kit, the medical center, go enjoy. It's a moment of inconvenience spend hours doing it and i it ain't working for me on this so i'd be spending hours trying to figure out what is what two three button clicks pick the faction join four button clicks it's just not worth spending the hours to figure out how to script it when it's just so easy to do so the last times i tested it for some reason it was spawning her too far away to discover the faction so you couldn't select the faction on your initial spawn. You had to do it again. Or jump in the game and then join the faction. It's, it's, it's a bit squid. I just don't understand. But at which point this should have already closed out. Because the host's in here. So we should be running on this. At that point. Which has nothing about spawning players in there anyway. <laughs> Why would you use a kick player from faction function? That'd be interesting. There's some good potential there, isn't there? By the way, we're up and running. We are good. Ah, took a lot longer than what I was planning on. Just for what? This is the thing about programming. And can we actually see the code? Just for this. There. Just to do something as simple as this. There's quite a lot here. And this visual scripting actually fills it with nodes and fills all this in. But, uh, look at all of this. This makes no sense to me. But I don't do C plus, C sharp, C sharp maybe. I kind of got used to LUA with farm sim and figuring that out I could basically understand it I struggled to write it but I could understand it and follow it this just makes no sense to me <laughs> what the hell <laughs> this has been a pain in the ass <laughs> that's just nuts I consider this quite simple 
all we're doing is the hardest part was the refinery bit you know the reactor because he was been an ass but I got around that just by highlighting the reactor and highlighting the button and when you actually press the button it turns it all off oh it's highlighted in star isn't it yeah so they're both highlighted in star but when you press the button it just turns them both off done easy work around that was the hardest bit the rest of them is a block destroyed do your business sort out the quest log add the next quest log now this was quite interesting putting together the triple stage for the three moon bases yeah that got a bit more interesting didn't it i was having a variable but it works and hopefully it's as long as it carries it's that state machine that i've had problems with it was the hud the compass hud mod for some reason that stops state machines don't know why I don't know what the hell that's got to do with state machines, but it must have the is it text hood API it uses. There must be some sort of overlap there, maybe. But the GPS HUD is quite an old mod. So I'm guessing the updates have broke that and then it kind of breaks this. Oh dear. <coughs> ah, but yeah. And then we're back into the after we get out of them sort this out move it along again it's just changing the quest details and the objectives it's nice and simple it flows quite well but it gives you a lot of freedom with the scenario you get to go i'll enjoy the building part and the open play it's a uh, the escape from mars scenario you're really constrained on that and limited you have to do this you have to do that there's a lot of uh scavenging isn't there, salvaging it just doesn't scratch that itch I've got. I like the mining part and the building up. The never surrender scenario, I enjoyed that. But it just never ends. You just keep going and going and going. This, it does have an end. And this is just phase one. If now I know what I'm doing, I could improve and then do phase two. I'd like to figure out the cutscenes and revisit this. Just add a little bit more to it, polish it off a bit more at some point. But this is an update for another day. I brought Penzo and sat us into the next stage. We're going to Mars. And then it's Pertam and Triton and finish off on the alien world, I think. I wrote a plan for it somewhere, but I don't know where it's gone. <laughs> but it's done. Ah, so have a play. Let me know what you think. And good luck with the pirates. There's a lot of them. <laughs> uh, I think I've got three episodes of the MP server business to upload. I need to get back on there and actually finish the last achievement. It's the Befriend Free Factions one. That's going to take a bit of time. But my honor is the perfect ship for it. But that's just running around. So the new series is going to be on this. And we'll see how we get on. But I've done this as well. I could also build it into the little roleplay world. So I've got an idea of how it comes together now. It's cool. But see if it works. That's the main thing. Does it work? If the pirate spawners are going to be an ass, I've got to try and figure out how to bring MES into it. Modular encounters. I really enjoy playing with that mod. There's just so much life in the world. It's really cool. It should actually work alongside this, but it's maybe going to overload <laughs> the AI. <laughs> I'll leave it alone for now. I'll just test it as is. We'll put that one on. <laughs> but I'm going to call it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've learned something and hope this can be a reference to other people. It's been quite the little journey. 11 episodes, lots and lots of hours, deep down some rabbit holes. But hopefully it's been worth it. So, thank you very much for watching. We will catch you next time. Laters.